where are we going? We're going to the Jurassic Coast. And what are we going to do when we get there? We are going to hunt for fossils and sea plants. Okay, and where are we staying? Ah, something dairy farm. <laughs> I guess that will be a subtitle then. Yeah. Okay, right. Are you enjoying driving? Yes, I am. It's a really nice, it's a nice day. Um, quite warm actually. Yeah. Tell me about driving the, the van. Um, so I like driving the van because it gives me an elevated view of the road. I like being high up and being able to see, have a good view of the road. I mean, I do like the fact that it's got plenty of power. We don't seem to, we don't ever seem to get anywhere and stray. Follow the A37 from Yeovil. Stay out of the red bits. The GPS will want to take you there. Pick up the A35 on the Dorchester Ring Road. Head in the direction of Honiton. Follow the very scenic road for a few miles. Careful about missing the sign we did. We had to perform a U turn and invent an alternative route. Here, we rejoin the road that we should have been on earlier. A stream with ducks runs alongside the main street. The nearby farm shop has bacon. The arrival at site is done without contacting a human being directly. It's all over the phone and arranged beforehand. We have arrived. All set up. It didn't take long this time. Reheating a curry that we had prepared earlier. Portersham is a village and civil parish in the county of Dorset, which is in southwest England. It's situated about six miles away from Weymouth, 
and six miles away from the county town of Dorset, which is Dorchester. It's also two miles north of the Jurassic Coast World Heritage Site at Chesil Beach. The Toilet Cassette. Hello. I'm just checking my hair. Okay, that's on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep straight. your hair on. Straight. Yeah, yeah, straight. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go. Down the middle of the row, um, this is where all the electrical points are, but if we look the other way around, see between all the caravans, they've actually managed to squeeze in some extra pitches for people in tents and in fact other caravans down in the middle. It's kind of a strange arrangement, but it works. Whoa, dudes, look at the back of this thing. This one's to show that the girls do the dirty work too. There's a road that runs through the middle. I think that's the proper way to exit. We'll check it out tomorrow. So we walked around the site a couple of times now and so far we've only seen one rubbish point. Seems a bit bizarre. And no dog poo points. Also bizarre. So this is the more modern end of the campsite. So what have we got here? We've got a ladies, you worked in there, so it's a ladies, there's a toilet or a shower, just a toilet. A toilet and a shower, a laundry, a dishwashing area, and a gents toilet. And shower. Entry and exit from this site is done via a number plate recognition bollard system. So don't forget to let the campsite know your vehicle registration before you arrive. The last tab that we used to attempt to sluice the inside of the toilet didn't, um, didn't go so well, did it? It's like a, a drop or two. Yeah, just could do with a bit of pressure. They are very fancy l points, aren't they? As these things go. Yeah. And over here, where this Heimer is parked, not quite sure what these pictures are. We'll have a look at the side brochure, but it, it appears to be you know, full serviced pictures on concrete outside of the driveway. We're guessing it's for some kind of um, late arrivals or just overnight only or something. This is the world's weirdest hand gel, isn't it? I mean, it's sort of like glue. It's like glue. It's like glue. It's horrible, actually. There we are. Is it gone yet? Just a little bit left. Just a little bit. Fresh coffee. Let's have a look at that first then. Yep, next door we passed it on the road this morning, didn't we? Yeah. Doggy Beauty. Then inside here. A fancy coffee machine. Hot drinks machine, two tokens per hot drink and it's 75p a token, so it's £1.50 for a fancy cup of coffee. Fish and chip fan. Oh. Hey, hey. We missed this one. Every Wednesday between around 6.30 and 7.30. We saw those people yesterday, didn't we? The, uh, where you learn how to do the uh, paddleboard. Horse riding in Dorset. The wishing well something or other. Tea rooms and water gardens. Pretty. Okay. Caravan, camping and caravanning accessory shop. And don't light like a fire inside your tent. And there's also the elm tree in Okay, yeah, that's actually looks quite reasonably priced. Some of the things down here have been a bit expensive, haven't they? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it was a delight to see an ice cream van during the uh, circuit of the whole campsite, but I think £10 for £2.99 is a yeah, little it's a bit Yeah, a bit much. We also like the look of this thing mainly because it's enormous. Big. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of space. It looks yeah, it looks really nice, fascinating. The pitch was not very level. It was also quite spongy. The windbreak has not been um, 
plain sailing. It's, it's, it's gone down a couple of times. It's not mastered, but I think, yeah. yeah, I did this on purpose to stop it coming out. But I think, if you zoom in, I think this piece here, this support bowl, needs to be. No, I still think it'll, it'll split this bit. No, it won't because you've got this material will hold it in place. Right, in it goes. Oh, but before we put it in, we've forgotten something. Some fluids. Some fluids. There you go. And you give it a, I just fill it up to the, just below the brim of that thing. I tend to use the, the green fluid because it's just, you know, you can put it anywhere. Whereas if you use the blue, you gotta be careful where you put it. So we just, without thinking, go for the green. In there, close it up. Jobs are good in. This handle's not in. Is that in properly? Uh, don't, I think it is, yeah. And then it goes. Done. We like to keep one side of the front locker for all the dirties, the gas stuff in the middle. There goes the extra long electrical cable we didn't need today, water bottle, and all the clean stuff. So this is where the fancy plumbing for the aqua roll goes. The Jurassic Coast is a World Heritage Site on the English Channel coast of southern England. It stretches from Exmouth in East Devon to Studland Bay in Dorset, a distance of about 96 miles. The site spans 185 million years of geological history, coastal erosion having exposed an almost continuous sequence of rock formation covering the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. At different times this area has been desert, shallow tropical sea and marsh and the fossilised remains of the various creatures lived here have been preserved in the rocks. Chesil Beach, sometimes called Chesil Bank in Dorset, southern England, is one of three major shingle structures in Britain. It runs for the length of 29 kilometres from West Bay to the Isle of Portland and in places it is up to 15 metres high. The beach curves sharply at the eastern end near the village of Chiswell and forms Chevzel Cove against the cliffs of Isle of Portland and this protects the low-lying village from flooding. It has been the scene of many shipwrecks and was named Dead Man's Bay by Thomas Hardy. The Hardy Monument is a 72 foot high monument on the summit of Blackdown in Dorset, erected in 1844 by public subscription in memory of Vice Admiral Sir Thomas Hardy, a commander at the Battle of Trafalgar. Admiral Hardy lived in Portisham and his family owned the Portisham Estate, which stretched from the middle of Portisham to Blackdown. The site for the monument was chosen because the Hardy family wanted a monument which could be used as a landmark for shipping. The monument has been shown on navigational charts since 1846 and is visible from a distance of 60 miles. Keep an eye out for our beachcombing video which we shot on a couple of days out whilst here at the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. <laughs>